And this is a competition uh, that we started to bring together uh, the talented young students who are studying engineering and science uh, disciplines to compete in a contest that will allow them to showcase their skills, to bring together their teams uh, on a challenge that we put before them. The University of Texas at El Paso. This competition alone, just hosted at UTEP, is already a big deal because we're pulling in schools from all across the country. And as a student, this just brings so much opportunity for like research, especially since I'm wanting to go into grad school. We've got uh, one main pilot, two backup pilots, uh, a couple of electrical engineers, and then heavily mechanical engineers. So like me, I was designing the body, like how the arms put together. Uh, the electrical engineers would design how the electrical components on the inside will actually mesh, how we can make it to where it's as small of a footprint as possible. And then uh, towards the end, like we all just kind of worked together. We were no longer mechanicals or electricals. We were just all one team working together as one project. Um, this is our drone that we designed for this competition. It is ASA material, except for the legs, which are PLA for stronger landing and the arms are interchangeable, so if anything happens during the mission or flight, if it falls and breaks, you can interchange the arms. Right now, with these motors that we have on right now, we have a 2.5 payload, which means you can carry 2.5 pounds, but if you put bigger motors in the arms, you can carry, you can increase that weight to carry. Okay.